In 1678, William White, rector of All Saints Church at Pusey in Oxfordshire and the former master of Magdalen College School in Oxford, left his library to the Mayor and Corporation of Marlborough. White was an avid reader with a wide range of interests and his library contained 475 volumes with subjects ranging from theology to history, law, medicine and science. 237 of the books were printed in Britain before 1641. 45 of them are extremely rare and eight are the only known copies. The books were given in trust to Cornelius Yate, vicar of St. Mary's Church and his successors. After he left to become rector of St. Mary's Islington in 1707, the books were moved from the vicarage to the church where they remained for the next 200 years, but rarely used and the original catalogue once placed in the mayor's wooden chest was lost. Plans were made to sell the library and at one time a valuation was made by Sotheby's but no sale was completed and the books remained in the town. By 1905 the library was stored in the attic of the town hall, seemingly forgotten and abandoned. In 1942, during a salvage operation, it was proposed to pulp the books in support of the war effort. Fortunately, Edwin Kempson, a teacher at Marlborough College, noted mountaineer and future mayor, had a closer look at the books before their disposal. He recognised their importance and spent the rest of his life researching and preserving them. To make sure they received the care and attention needed, Kempson arranged for the books to be deposited on permanent loan at the Bodleian Library in Oxford. Today they are in the care of the Rare Books Department stored in moisture and temperature controlled rooms and each book is placed in an individually made acid proof box. The oldest book in the library is Dialogus Dictus Malo Granatum, published in 1487 in Cologne. It is an incunabula, meaning it was printed from movable type before 1501. Even for this period it is an extremely long book describing the threefold stages of the Christian life. The hand in the margin is called a manicure. It points to important texts the reader should pay attention to. At the very end of the book is a colour font which has information about the printing. This was common at the time. Microcosmographia, a book on anatomy by Halkiah Crook, who was physician to King James I, was published in 1613 and contains many illustrations of the human body. It was controversial at the time due to its depiction of the sexual organs and because it was written in English rather than Latin. It's based on translations of the works of distinguished contemporary anatomists and is bound in vellum, a cheap and easy way for books to be bound up to the 18th century. Flores Historiarum, a history of Britain from the creation of the world to 1307 AD, attributed to Matthew of Westminster, was published by Thomas Marsh in 1570 in London. It has been beautifully and highly coloured by hand. Matthew Parker, the Archbishop of Canterbury from 1559 to 1575, presented this book to someone, but we do not know to whom. This book by the distinguished Dutch jurist Hugo Grotius is the second of a two-volume commentary on the Old Testament, Annotata ad Vetus Testamentum, published in Paris in 1644. White used this book as a diary, noting thoughts and observations in the margin, on page 524, he made a note about seeing a red glow in the east. It was 1666, the year of the Great Fire of London, and the distance from Pusey is about 50 miles. White wanted the library to keep expanding, and his last will and testament states that every one of the vicars would give one good book to the study that is not there already. We don't know whether each of the vicars added to the library as William White requested, but some clearly did, as the library contains books printed after the time of his bequest. Today, readers can and do apply to access the books at the Bodleian in Oxford, ensuring that the Vicar's Library of St Mary's Marlborough remains a continuing resource for anyone who wishes to use it.